A YouTube friend of mine is having difficulties because his well keeps barfing up sand on him. Now my original suggestion was simply to run the pump. Just run it, run it, run it. Full bore out on the lawn and, and see if you can suck up all the little sand particles from around the sand point and, and blow them out the top. But on reflection, that sand point should be filtering all those sand particles. I mean, it shouldn't be big stuff coming out. Not like beach sand. It should have, the screens on the sand point are finer than that. It makes me wonder if maybe, you know, a, a big rock or something was hit and, and part of the screen on the sand point might have been damaged. Then I could see it sucking sand. But regardless, right, what are you going to do? You can't get down there and fix it without pulling the whole well and starting over. If you have this well, and no matter what, it keeps plugging sprinkler heads, that's not useful either. So I was kind of brainstorming a bit, and I kept going back to our mining stuff. It's what we know. And you needed like a sluice box, really. You need a, a spot for the, the sand to settle out in some sort of chamber and the good water to flow over the top. But it's got to be pressurized. So how do you do that? And what, it, what I've come up with, and I'm not saying that I'm an expert, I'm saying simply this is what I would do if it were me. What I've come up with, I think, is sort of a pressurized sluice box made out of four inch cheap PVC pipe. So your water line coming out of your well with all the little bits of sand in it would come in here. And this is uh, a cap with an adapter fitting to whatever piping you're using. I have one inch, three quarters, whatever that is. Whatever connection you need to make, that's, that's got an adapter to go to that. As the water flows through here, you know, if you've ever looked at PVC tees, they're designed to go a specific way. So one shoulder will be straight and one shoulder will be curved. Put all the curved ends in the direction of flow. And my thought is that as you pull across these, the sand, hopefully less and less and less, will drop into these chambers. But that'll only work if the water is flowing slow enough that the sand will fall out of the turbulence. I think 4 inch would work. I really do. 6 inch would work better. I know that for sure. So the way it would work is you got these down chambers, and in my head they're a foot to 18 inches. These are just coupled together basically as close as possible and at the bottom you have a cap with a uh, big screw drain fitting. These will be hard to keep sealed against water pressure. They're not designed for it. So it might take some experimenting. I think that if your chambers were 4 inch, even if you had a 2 inch cap, which would be a much better chance of getting a 2 inch rather than a full 4 inch sewer drain cap to seal against pressure. I think a two inch cap, maybe, uh, and maybe they make specific fittings for these types of things. But the idea would be, and then you got this long riser here, and I envision this about 12 inches, and then a 90 degree elbow, and it goes back into your water lines. So I'm thinking the entire height, you could probably do it in about, I don't know, 32 inches would be my thought. And then, you know, depending on your T's, this would be a, a, about the same here. How, how often you'll have to empty them, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you run until you see your sprinkler heads start to plug again, and then you pull it apart. I can tell you from mining that if these are an internal thread, they are going to be cemented on there like the gates of hell because uh, we have some mining equipment that runs PVC with 4-inch plugs, though it's not under pressure, and uh, the stuff, the silk, gets in the threads. Come to think about it, I really think if you could find some sort of external cap, you know, 
uh, take a four inch to a two inch threaded sink or bathroom or tub fitting and then you could get a cap that would screw on I think you could like Teflon tape or pipe dope that and if it were me I would prop I would do this I'd run your system the way it is I'd make this a garden hose right here and I and then a garden hose fitting out just temporary and I would prop it up obviously this has to be vertical this has to be up and I'd prop it up against the house and I'd let it run that way if these caps leak no big deal right you're just watering a little more lawn but that'll also give you a chance to test the system I, I, I really believe that four inch would work I can tell you the the slower you can get this water to move through and that's a, a factor of volume coming in and volume coming out the slower you can get it to move through the more sand is going to drop out so six inch would be better obviously eight inch would be better than that but I mean come on the, the, there's got to be a lot of diminishing returns I think four inch would work and I guess my only caution is this isn't my money and I have no way to test it so this is something I pulled out of my head based on you know some of our mining equipment stuff I think it'll work I really do um, assuming you're, you're you're just running a garden hose and you're running say a three-quarter or one horsepower pump at like 40 psi I, I think I think this would work I, I'd hesitate to tell you to jump to six simply because everything gets so much more expensive the farther up you go but again it, it's not my money and I have you know no way to warranty or guarantee this it was simply an idea I had and I you know I said I would I would get back to you with my idea and and this is what I've come up with I still think upon reflection something happened to your sand point when you went down you know I think you might have titanic it on some sort of rock iceberg and just left a crease but I mean what else are you gonna do are you gonna abandon the whole thing are you gonna try to pull it out of the well I guess what I'm saying is it might be quite if you've got a, a, a crack in your sand point it might be quite some time quite quite some time before that sand stopped coming up your well I do believe it will eventually stop eventually you have sucked it all out blown it into your sprinklers and and you'll just be left with the bigger rocks but in the meantime that's what I had come up with if you're gonna run I don't know how big your pump is and I'm basing it off of my little irrigation pump which is I think one horse if, if you're running more than that I think if your pump is bigger than one horse I think you're gonna have to go to a six and if your pump is bigger than two uh, I don't know at least eight you might try uh, extending this out maybe a foot or so just to give you know you're gonna have some turbulence coming through here but that'll give that sand time to fall onto the bottom of the pipe and that's what we're trying to do you want that sand to fall to the bottom of the pipe and then as the water because it's coming out the other end pushes it along it falls down inside these little traps and then you've got nothing but clean water going up the stack yeah you might add 12 inches 16 inches you can have leftover pipe anyways that's my idea I do hope it gives us some value I'm sure it'll stop on its own eventually it has to you can't have sand down there forever right <laughs> maybe you can that's what I had come up with no guarantees it's not my money so I you know I can't I can't say one way or the other but if it were me this is what I would try building to solve the problem that you're discussing and yet have a way to every season or whatnot empty the cups good luck sir